I've shopping. got one down in. What? I've got one down in. Put Nicola. one up for everyone. Oh, don't. Oh, Especially thanks. for you. Jack, don't put it on well. <laughs> don't. You can't do this. It's a little bit wet, Jack. It stinks. Jack, When you said you'd eat a donkey's testicle yesterday. It stinks. You can do it, Jack. Yeah. And another bite. It's dang. Rusty. Have a go, son. Have a go, son. Yeah, go on, Russell. Go on, Russell. I can't eat. Come on, Russell. He's just had highlights in his hair. Oh, my God, I'm Is Are you going to have a go, Russ? Go on, go on. Go on, Russ. Go on, Russell. Stick it in there. when the subject of Nigel is on the agenda. But first, and it's such bad timing, here's a man with an oddball agenda, all of his own. He's just eaten some nuggets. It's Russell Kane, everybody! Oh, well, um, oh, that's actually the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. But it's not that bad. Oh, yeah, it is. I did actually eat all of that. <laughs> My God, what a day for Gillian. <laughs> Cowardice. Did I hate you, Joe. Right? <laughs> you posed as a door open in our trailer as well. So don't get you back. Okay, we've had deceit, theft, torture. You know, Gillian McKee's CV is really growing by the day, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> Guys, can you please start voting for someone else? It's getting a little bit boring. No, I can he do it. No, I can he do it. No, I can. can you imagine being married to her? I can he do it if anything splashes on my face, divorce. <laughs> Civil. Oh my God! Like worse than, worse than the mock fear, is the salt smuggling and the lies, right? Oh, there were six levers and bugs around me falling everywhere. Were there, Julian? Or were there three levers and no bugs whatsoever? <laughs> you filthy, truth-stretching plop plop product. <laughs> oh, there's cockroach there. <clears throat> She's one. Do you know what she was like? She's like one of those. <laughs> You know one of those mi middle-aged middle-aged ladies who's got a bizarre fetish about acting like a ten-year-old girl? Do you know what I mean? I can just imagine her in a, a little cheesecloth dress with white frilly ankle socks and some pigtails and a lollipop. Oh, Linford, look after me. Oh, oh please, Uncle Linford, you're so big and strong. Carry me back to the wee house on the prairie. Oh, what happened, Miss Gillian? Well, oh, there were bugs and I was locked in and there were monsters and fairies and at the end I became a doctor. Oh! Oh, Julia. <laughs> Kiss me, Uncle Linford. Could you imagine it? Mm. <laughs> Holy hell, I'm going to puke. <laughs> I, of all the people to get trapped in jail together, did you see uh, oh Lembit and Cheryl? Oh, my God, the two most boring characters. You see, Lembit, lots of people misunderstand the paperclip. They ignore it. They don't see the beauty in ordinary stationery. But there's something truly amazing about the oblong steel loops of a paperclip. Oh, I feel exactly the same about drawing pin, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> Much more engaging was Grumpy Nige. Thank God he didn't leave. Thank God. He's one of those people who has the misfortune to be more entertaining when he's wound up. Like Joe. Russ, Russ, where are my Cocoa Pops? You'll bang out of order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll ever tire of watching Nigel refuse to be kangaroo courted. It was surfing. No, nope, I don't do that. <clears throat> I don't do electrocution. <clears throat> don't you know who I am? I'm Nigel. <clears throat> I'm Nigel Havers. <clears throat> Absolutely fantastic. I love the way he... I love the way he saw out... I love the way he saw out the ambassador. I want to speak to the High Commissioner immediately. My name, of course, it's Nigel Havers. Right? Not, is it, who's waiting for the moment when he finally snaps? It's going to be brilliant. You'll just see Kayla going, Hey, guys, has anyone seen Gillian anywhere? And there'll be Nigel. No. No one's seen her for a while. <laughs> she never came back from the trial. <laughs> oh, no, but by the dunny, I found one of her sneakers covered in blood. Did you? Well, I can't imagine how it might have got there.
disgusting. Please don't ask to be sick. Uh, <laughs> good work, Dave. Well, uh, prison is a classic tactic. Separate out the group, make them weaker, create conflict. Arguably, Lembit has the coping skills to deal with being the member of a smaller party within a larger population, <laughs> right? But without him, who will be the mediator? Who will be the gentle rationaliser? Should the girls take control? Hmm? Should rotund ironizer Dom Jolly step up to the mark? Just don't stick ladies' man Linford in the jail. Hmm? He'll go mad. And if it is Lembit and Linford in jail together, whatever you do, Lembit, don't pick up the soap. You'll never walk again. <laughs> <laughs>